a little experiment I've got going uh, about diesel bug. To get diesel bug, you need three things. You need diesel, water, and time. The other way you can get it is by contaminated fuel, but somewhere else it's already had that diesel, water, and time that uh, sets the fuel off. And if you have those three things, you will get diesel bug. So I pull this fuel out of the tank, boat that was in operation in 5th 22. So in this container here, so it's just all diesel. There's still a slight air gap at the top, but you can see from then to now, the fuel's still perfect. This one here, a lot of water. Like I said, they're all the same fuel at the same time. This one here, a lot of water and bugger all air. And this one's gone off a little bit more than this one. See this one, just a bit of water and a lot of air. And you can see it's not quite as bad, but they're both these two well and truly going off. This one's still perfect. You can see underneath here where it's starting to really go off under here. Not to mention that this opaqueness in the fuel, that'll block your filters up and your engine will start losing power. So you can see the bit of crap underneath there starting to grow. This one, yeah, a little bit of crap going underneath. Now I've got one more here that I pulled out of a tank with bug, diesel bug, about, it's been sitting around about 10 years now, this one, but the fuel was already off. It was nowhere near as bad as that. And this has really gone off. Uh, it doesn't seem to be getting any worse. So, but it, I mean, that's just awful. You can see, anyway, you can see all the crap in there. And of course, what happens is if this fuel's in your boat and then you take your boat out and you're rocking and rolling a bit, all this crap gets stirred up and it blocks your filters. So diesel, water and time. Best way to manage that is to make sure you don't get any water in your fuel or drain your fuel tanks. If you've got drains or have those water traps, all tanks get a bit of condensation. So a full tank in theory gets less condensation, but the trouble is it's very hard to keep a tank full all the time. So what you need to do to get rid of time is run your, run your tanks down every now and then. Don't keep topping them. If your tank's dropping down to here, fill it back up, fill it back up. The, the fuel's not getting a good turnover. So every now and then when it's safe to do so, pretending that's a tank, of course, um, run him right down to below to about 40% as, long, as low as it's safe to. So each time you fuel up, you had a nice big, large amount of fuel. So yeah, you don't want, you don't want old fuel. You want to burn the old fuel through and put fresh fuel in and keep water out of your tank. There are these additives you can get. I'm not sure how good they work. Whether they supposedly whether they kill the, the bug in there, but maybe they just absorb the water and burn it through. But if you're using your boat all, all the time, the moving diesel will actually absorb a little bit of water and burn it through. So it's boats that sit around, or tanks that sit around, I should say. Um, I don't have a problem with my boat because I'm using it all the time. So like, like a lot of times, lack of use is a bigger issue than overuse. So yeah. Burn your fuel right down every now and then if you can, if it's safe to do so, and use your boat often. And of course, like I already said, have a water trap, make sure water doesn't get in there. And if, the, if you can, if it's a type of tank, drain the bottom of the tank regularly. A lot of larger tanks have drains on the bottom of them and you can just drain the water off and that's what you need to do. But I, most Delta crafts, I don't think have any drains on the bottom of the tank. So you just got to have an inline filter and drain it off that filter. All right, that's it.